Hi guys, uh, it's Rich from Backup here again. I uh, just wanted to use this next little section of video just to highlight how we go about getting down curves backwards in our wheelchair. An incredibly useful skill to have for when we're getting around and about in the community. You might not have access to a dropped curb, so it's a good one to be able to master. There's three main, main ways we can go about this. So, first off, we can go down from the top deck down backwards onto the flat by just rolling down backwards so we would be facing backwards to the curb that we're wanting to come off here on the edge rolling both wheels until they're nice and square on the edge there so you're not coming off one wheel slightly before the other coming off with both wheels at the same time and then at that point we're wanting to let the chair roll roll out you know, uh, you don't want to be putting any pressure onto the push rims at this point because as we're going backwards, it's the same principle that we had when we were doing the pushing backwards skill. If you break sharply and your momentum is already going backwards, that's enough to lift the caster wheels. Especially so if we're going off a curb doing that. So the first method we'll try is just letting the chair roll off backwards off the curbs whilst keeping our hands off the push rims, either on the frame itself or on our knees up here. Um, secondly, we'll practice bumping down backwards similarly until our drive wheels are on the flat, but this time rolling 90 degrees off to the side. This is a useful skill because you might be coming out into a busy road, say for example, in between some parked cars or something, and you want to stay nice and tight to the curb. You don't want to roll out into into busy traffic so you want to stay nice and tight to the curb so you come off and then twist 90 degrees to get off the curb excuse me and then finally we'll touch on getting off in a back wheel balance now coming off in a back wheel balance it's about finding that nice balance point as we come to the edge making sure that both wheels are square again as with all the other skills before we go and then we're looking to do a to do kind of similarly to the gliding exercise that we practiced. So to come off in a back wheel balance, we'd have to drop the front wheels, the caster wheels, ever so slightly, and then push through um, with our big drive wheels at the back, bumping down off the curb. Now we're looking to land on either all four wheels or the back two drive wheels in a back wheel balance, locked against the curb, and then put our front two wheels down. So never the front two first. Always either all four or the back two. It makes makes sense. So we'll get stuck in and, and practice going down the first way that I mentioned. So if we pop up onto this curb here. So when we're coming down, we want to make sure that both of our wheels are coming to the edge at the same time. We don't want to be at an angle either way. We want to have, make sure both are uh, wheels are coming to the edge at the same time. Now at this point we want to lean that weight forward so as far forward as you can get with the weight and keep it on your knees. So you want to have your head, shoulders and chest and, and stomach right on the tops of your thighs there as far as you can get that weight forward. And then as you come towards the edge you want to slowly, slowly control these push rims and then once they come off the edge, it's about letting go uh, of the push rims and grabbing onto the frame or your knees and just letting the chair roll out. So as I come to the edge here, start to feel the chair go. Let go. Grab onto the push rims. And then once I've rolled away, I can sit myself up. So again, just so you can see that from over here, it's coming towards the edge, getting that weight as far forward as you can. Rolling, 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 letting go, put my hands on the frame, and then once I've rolled down and got onto the flat, that's when I can sit myself back up in my chair there, okay? So the second skill, similarly, Coming to the very end, this time, keeping that weight forward, same as before, we want to get to this point where we're off the curb. And then from there, 
it's turning against the curb, keeping that weight forward all the time, turning 90 degrees, and then just letting the curb bounce up. And as you can see, I'm still very, very tight to the curb here. I'm not rolled away this direction, I'm still nice and tight here. All right, so that, that's the second second skill. So the two ways of coming down backwards uh, we've just covered. So you can either do these independently or you can do these with an assist. If you're coming down backwards, just make sure if you're being assisted that again, you're very much being uh, extremely verbally independent uh, and making sure that you're instructing clearly your, your helper, family member, friend, to spot you on the way down. So by taking control of of kind of the the back of the backrest, uh, the top of the backrest here. Sorry, as you come down, keep that weight forward. You control the big drive wheels at the back, and then they can just prevent you from tipping up and over backwards. And then just as I say, as you roll down off the curb, they'll just stand behind you and make sure that the chair doesn't tip backwards just to kind of uh, make sure that you're safe and make sure that it's uh, yeah, successfully getting down the curb there. So when it comes to back wheel balancing off the curb, as I mentioned, we want to get to, to this point here, making sure that we get up into our nice back wheel balance, hands nice and controlled on the push rim. So I've got both wheels on the very edge there and then from here what I want to do at my balance point is drop the front ever so slightly and push through so I can drop the front push through again so that's landing on all four wheels or alternatively you can get in a back wheel balance Get right to the very edge of the curb here, and then from there, drop off the curb, lock against the curb itself, and then put the front wheels down. So again, so you got a little bit of vantage point of that. So up in a back wheel balance to the very edge, both wheels at the same time. Lock against the curb, and then put the wheels down. All right. So that is, a, is back wheel balances off a curb and coming down off a curb backwards, either assisted or unassisted. So those are the main ways that we would go about getting off a curb. As is with all the other back wheel balance oriented skills, uh, please make sure that you're being safe when you're practicing these. Please reference the spotting video that we've put together uh, to accompany the series of videos. Uh, make sure that you have somebody with you if you're not 100% confident just to help out with spotting and stuff. As you get more and more confident, you can try bigger and bigger curbs. As I've mentioned already, this is kind of a little third size curb, just, just so you can see the processes behind it. But as you get more and more uh, kind of experienced with the with the process, you can kind of up the, the curb height, stuff like that. Alright, thanks ever so much for watching guys, hopefully that was helpful. Cheers!